This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson. Uh, we're selling this 2005 Chevy Silverado 1500 HD. Yeah, it's a heavy duty uh, half ton. It's a 60 V8 gas. It is four wheel drive and it's quadra steer. The rear wheels do turn. Um, you can also turn them off, so just front wheel steering. But uh, they, it's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, an 05. It has 83,000 actual miles. It's not going to due to theft. Um, really nice truck. Uh, we purchased it uh, from, directly from an insurance company. Let's walk around it. Take a look at it. A little bit of touch-up paint was done here and there by yours truly. There was a little ding right here and right here and I'll show you a couple little spots I saw around it that I thought we could use a little bit but really it's a really good looking truck um, we had to put new uh, catalytic converters on it they stole those which is really common uh, the radio is locked right now it has brand new tires these tires are uh, are new uh, BFG all terrains There's a few little rod chips here and there, like high-speed rod chips that I touched up. Boom, boom. There's a little scratch right here. Uh, it's very important for me to uh, to make sure that you see everything that's wrong, more so than everything that's right. So that if it ships to Kalamazoo or American Samoa or Europe or whatever. Uh, obviously, it's not coming back, so you got to be happy. Um, so I make sure that uh, we tell you all about all the warts that it has, more so than the beauty. These are painted on pinstripes that the dealership puts on them, and uh, it's been detailed probably several times. And the buffers hit those; that's why you get those where it kind of fades away. You could get, you know, ten-dollar tape stripes and put them on, but or you could just buff off what's left, I suppose. Um, Right here, there's a little bit of touch-up paint. You can see that in the middle of the door there. There's a few little chips here that were touched up, but I think I, think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> really pretty truck. Unusual for them to keep uh, keep these things on clear titles. Usually they salvage the titles on all of them. Uh, I mean, God, lately it's just, it just seems like every single one of them. For some reason, there's a little tape residue on the top of this bed liner. My detail shop could have done a little bit better job, but this was uh, kind of rushed. I told them I wanted this for the weekend, and uh, so they kind of rushed, and I'm not going to blame them for that. I do recall this tailgate had so many scratches. There was no dents in it, but a million scratches, um, so I just got a new tailgate and had them paint it for me, and uh, it's a <laughs> very good paint job. Our paint shop is unbelievable. Um, I figured... Uh, this truck deserved to look really good. And there's your tow package. There's your plug. That's your bed. Obviously, they didn't use that bed very much. Let me show you what the rear steering looks like. That's what your rear steering looks like right there. It's pretty cool. All right. Driver's side. I do recall there was like a little scratch like right here, right under my finger from here to here. I kind of touched it up as good as I could, but I didn't want to make it look really ugly. There are limits to my artistic ability. I didn't want to push the envelope. Anyway, like I said, brand new BFG All Terrains. Looks like there's like a cloud. I don't know if that's glue that got on here from here to here. I don't know if you can see that in the picture, but it's in the paint. It's not going to come off that deal. Really pretty truck. Let me open the hood. We'll look under the hood real quick. I'm not sure why, but we have a lot of jet action today. A lot of Border Patrol helicopters going overhead today. I'm not sure what the uh, what the reason for that is. 
Yikes. There we go. We had like four or five black ice helicopters today and all kinds of stuff going on. So there must be something happening at the border. Anyway, there's it's a six uh, liter Chevy motor. Obviously everything's factory there. I'll just show you as much as I can of the motor so you get a good look at it. Of course the port's straight, everything's perfect, just the way it's supposed to be, but I like to let people see as much as they can. You could freeze it and look at stuff and whatever you want to do. Anyway, there's that. Let's close that. Let's uh, take a look at the roof real quick. Make sure that there's no surprises there. Obviously you got your HD truck light package on the roof. I don't see anything there. There's your bed. Uh, driver rear door panel. Boy, the back seat looks freaking brand, brand new. Carpet looks good. Back of the seats look good. Make sure there's no surprises there. There's not. Okay. Grab some keys out of the door. There's your VIN on the uh, driver door. Obviously, where it belongs. Boom, 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 boom. Fortunately, we were kind of rushed. We couldn't. We were going to call Watson and get the uh, the code. Kind of unusual. It's not a power seat. It's a manual seat. That's kind of unusual. That you know, with a vehicle like this, that would usually be the case. So I would say that somebody special ordered this truck. I know that it was a USAA, so it was a military guy, which is always a good thing also. Um, so they always take really good care of their vehicles. But uh, very unusual to have a truck like this with quadra steering and everything else and not have uh, power seats. So he must have ordered it in that way for some reason. Anyway, let me get the air going here. It's about 85 today. It's not too hot, but I could use a shot of air. Passenger seat. Dash looks great. Like I said, it says locked here. But uh, my guys say that they'll get it unlocked. And I can see the speaker cones in there, so there's no reason they didn't steal the speakers. There's the stereo, so everything should be fine in that area. Um, let's see. Let's go look in here closer. 80, I'm sorry, I, th I thought it was 83,000. It's 80,388. 80,000 miles. There's your gauges. Obviously, I need to go get some gas. Tow on and off. There you go. Let's see. I think a little demonstration would be in order here. I'm going to put it in here. Let's see here. And I'm going to put the uh, camera out the Hopefully we can see that. See that? That would be four-wheel steering. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Limits the amount of swing you can have to it, I'm guessing. Uh, that's something to look up on Google. There's your cruise. There's tilt. Let's put it in a neutral. Put the window up here real quick. Okay, so we're in four low. There's drive. Oh yeah, that's a lot of torque and reverse. That's definitely four low. Perfect. Neutral. Four high. drive. Yeah, you can drive at a speed at that. There you go. Put in reverse. Make sure we got reverse. There we go. Alright, let's go to auto four. And to drive. And all the we have a bunch of uh, 
remotes on this truck. I mean, that's what's swinging around here, making all that noise, is that. Now we're in reverse, that works fine. Let's go back to two wheel. All right, this is a really cool truck. Um, let's see, what do we got here? All right, uh, this is on a clear title, uh, 80,000 actual, not 83, it's 80,000 actual miles. Um, beautiful truck. Uh, we decided to spend some money on it. We, normally we don't buy tires for vehicles, we sell them the way they are, but this one was standing very tall, so it's got a brand new set of BFG all-terrain TAs. Um, runs and drives great, took it down the interstate uh, this morning, doing you know, more than the speed limit. <laughs> and uh, it runs great. Um, it's uh, HD, so it's got a little bit firmer suspension for towing. Um, it's got the eight lug uh, hubs, obviously for towing. Um, and uh, this is just a really nice truck. Good looking. And uh, hopefully I pointed out all the warts. Let me jump on it here. There you go. Anyway, this is a really, really, really nice truck. So. If you uh, come to Tucson to buy it, um, you're going to have to pay tax and dock fee. Dock fee is $250. Tax is 2% city tax here in Tucson and your state tax. So if your state tax is like Alaska or Oregon, which is zero, all you're going to pay is 2% tax and a $250 dock fee. If you're, I think it's 7.2 in California, you're going to pay a total of 9.2% tax and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is agree upon price, period. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Um, please get a deposit in. You know what? I'm going to put it in four-wheel steering and do, do some circles here. Check this out. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let me see the, look at the wheels turning in the rear view mirror. Inside. Right, let me tilt that wheel window down a little bit more. There it is. Check it out. Look at it. We go the other way. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at the look at the turn I'm doing. That is unbelievable. Look how tight this turn is. <laughs> look at now it straightens out. That's crazy. Look at the turn. Wow, that's cool. All right. I'm not sure if you're supposed to stop or not. Now we're back in two-wheel steering. This is really cool. Anyway, um, sorry, it's kind of a toy. But uh, I also saw a sticker up here on the windshield. It says uh, uh, 80,955 80, miles for the next oil change. So he obviously had an oil, this thing had an oil change 20, 2,500 miles ago. So whoever, whoever owned this thing took really good care of it. Um, and the military guys always do. Um, so. Uh, please make sure you get the deposit in. If we haven't agreed upon price and you don't have a deposit in, and then somebody comes in with you know a deposit or all of the money, they're going to get it, and you're going to be upset. And it's really getting tiresome having people upset over that. Um, it's a $500 deposit. You know, then we just take it off the market, and you got uh, five days to pay in full. Okay. All right. Let's just go from a standing start here. Watch it shift. Wow, smooth. And the speed limit here is 25, so I'm going to chill out. Anyhow, uh, this is a really nice truck. I see zero reason to be concerned at all here. A um, couple scratches I touched up. Uh, put a new tailgate on because it was dinged up. It wasn't wrecked or anything. It just had so many scratches in it that it was more cost effective to buy a new shell and paint it than to sand it and paint it. So anyway, thanks very much. Uh, please uh, bid early and get this thing. I think it's going to go quickly because it's a quadrasteer. Thank you.